Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com. I'm standing here with Brad Rowe, our men's heavyweight second place finisher and a new IFBB Pro Card holder. Uh, Brad, in 2002, I was second in uh, to Tony Freeman, and I did not get a pro card. I know You're going is. home with a pro card. You got to be very happy. I, I am very happy. You know, it's bittersweet uh, for me because you know I'm a traditionalist, and I know all the hard work you guys put in, and how many guys, how many great athletes, never earned their pro card because the way things were set up. But uh, you know, this day and age, I look at it as I'm 30. You know, I got a small business, so I want to get married, and <laughs> I'd be stupid to pass the opportunities. There's so many great competitors out there. You never know when your chance is going to come along. So I'm going to enjoy this tonight. I'm going to oh, sleep. You take well. that card, my I'm, friend. I'm going to sleep well and uh, you know I can focus on life a little bit and becoming you know a, a good pro bodybuilder putting on the size that I need to to be competitive you've been working with Chris Aceta for a number of years now yeah. and he's geared or steered your physique in the direction that it is now uh, talk to me a little bit about the changes that have occurred over those last few years uh, simplification <laughs> that's that's the biggest change make it work too complicated Chris is just so easy you know it's the half time you don't even think you're dieting and you know at a week out you know I'm squatting 600 pounds and bench pressing 400 and it's like I shouldn't be doing you, this. you actually lift people lift that much weight in Venice California yeah, yeah there's a couple of us yeah. you know I'm, I'm one of the stupid East Coast guys they must get look at you like you're crazy yeah there. yeah yeah so uh, you know Chris is is so easy to work with and he's on the ball um, you know we've made some great changes it's been pretty much a year that we've worked together and I've probably put on about seven or eight pounds of solid muscle and we haven't had an off season to work with um right after nationals last year i had surgery and i was out for eight weeks from what you have done completely i had um, uh, stem cell injections in my uh, pec tendon um, i had a micro tears in there so it worked uh, huh yeah it worked pretty well so but i couldn't do anything for six weeks where'd you get that done <clears throat> um right over uh, at a place in venice called uh, disc um it's kind of a new procedure that they came out with and uh, you know, pretty much it just accelerates the healing process in the area, but you have so much inflammation during the procedure, you know, during the first six weeks that you can't train at all because it weakens the uh, tendon. So I went six to eight weeks without training at all, and then it was a couple weeks of, you know, getting a pump back and right into prep for USAs. So we've never had an off season to work together, and I'm excited to, you know, let my body recover for a little bit and finally be able to pack on some size for the first time in my career. Well, you have arguably the best set of legs on stage, and uh, obviously Kevin Jordan, who beat you, has weak legs in comparison. Uh, did you think maybe the legs would push you over the top and give you the win in the class? I thought it was going to be the conditioning, you know. Um, that my legs have always been big, but they've never seemed to really help me out too much. You know, past lineups, I've always told, you know, your, your legs overpower your upper body, but that you see guys with, you know, toothpick legs and crazy upper bodies placing higher than me. So. You know, I don't think it's really assisted me that much. Um, I know that we just had to come in crazy condition and detailed in order to be up there battling. So and that's what we did. You know, we, Chris got me peeled just like I asked for, and now we have a standard to set to. So it's going to be tough to keep matching this. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Dave. Brad Rowe, new IFBB Pro Card holder, second place men's heavyweight.